Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Oh, with a sanctuary full, this is the best we can do. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Oh, much better. We are expecting a very spirited, uh, very um, happy, energized uh, crowd tonight. We are so delighted to welcome you to uh, a service that has been years in the making um, as we celebrate Shabbat Shira together. Shabbat Shira means a Sabbath of song, and we read in this week's Torah portion, which will be very capably read by John Lelalib tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m., should you care to come hear it, we read the Song of the Sea, the, the celebration as the Jews crossed the Sea of Reeds, went out of slavery in Egypt to freedom in the Promised Land. And so it has been a tradition almost throughout our people's history to celebrate with song in some way. So tonight we are bringing together all our various and sundry musicians to help us celebrate. We have our Rock Shabbat Ensemble up here. We have Neil Weinstein, who you recognize from Shabbat Unplugged. We have our Kol Dorenu Choir, who those of you uh, who have children in religion school might recognize. We have our Shabbat Kesher Choir. We have our wonderful adult choir. And we have Mike Lucero and Ellen Taylor, who uh, graced our third Shabbat each uh, month in Bellevue. And of course, we have the wonderful uh, musical talents of our uh, accompanist and music director, Valerie Shields, and our cantorial soloist, there she is, Emily Ziskin. And we are joined tonight by guest musician and violinist, Ingrid, Ingrid Fredrickson. And I hope that I've mentioned everybody. Uh, if I've left anybody out inadvertently, I apologize. We'll do a, a recap uh, as the night goes on. We are um, missing tonight, uh, as you may know this, uh, Rabbi Wiener, uh, who was so instrumental in putting this, this evening together. And unfortunately, uh, he did have a death in the family. His grandmother passed away uh, earlier today. So we are thinking of Rabbi Wiener and his family as they um, celebrate the life of his grandmother and uh, remember her with fondness. So February 3rd, 1959 is known in some parts of the American cultural pantheon as the day the music died. But I can tell you tonight that February 3rd, 2012 is the day that the music is going to be very much alive. We have all these wonderful musicians who are going to help us out tonight, but we are relying on you as well to help us out uh, to participate, to join along. And so we are going to begin tonight with our Rock Shabbat Ensemble and one of our favorites, Doror Yikra, Proclaim Liberty for Everyone. And so fitting a song to begin the Shabbat Shira, a Shabbat on which we celebrate our freedom.
when the Israelites were getting ready to go free out of Egypt. Pharaoh was not eager to let the whole Israelite community go free and said to Moses at one point, you can go with just the men, let everybody else stay here. And Moses said, no, we will go not only with the men, but we will go with our children. For Moses recognized that the children would be the future legacy of the Israelites. Our Kol Dorenu choir helps represent that legacy within our congregation, our wonderful religion school students who are exercising their voices and helping to lead us in praise and in prayer. They are going to sing a special setting of Ki Eshmerah Shabbat, If I Keep the Sabbath, God Will Keep Me, and that will be followed by their rendition of Shalom Aleichem. I need a sign, so let me know you're here. All of these lines are being crossed over the atmosphere. I need, wait, all of these lines, wait, 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 I already did that. I need to know, things are gonna look up. I feel a 
was drowning in the sea spilled from a cup. And there is no place safe and no safe place to put my head. And you can feel the world shake from the words that I said. So I, I can understand if we may have been reluctant to, to sing along just now and drown out the voices of Cold Orenu, but uh, I'm expecting much more as we move on into our service. We now prepare to welcome the Sabbath bride as we either look on the screens or turn to pages 20 and 21 in our prayer book, and we join together in Lechado D a wonderful Rock Shabbat uh, standard that you know and you love. And even if you don't know the words, there's a great lie, lie, lie part that goes something like this. What? Here we go.
please be seated.